promised a video review on my EDC belt. I've got this nice, lovely background here using my uh, kitchen table for it. So, uh, <clears throat> this evening we're going to review the next belt, EDC belt. Um, I purchased this off of Amazon. Uh, I got it back in September, and you can tell it's got some uh, it's got some wear on it. And overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I would definitely buy it again and will once this wears out. But again, this was purchased back in September, so it's got a few months on it. There's a couple things I thought that uh, some of this would have been a little bit stronger than what it was, a little bit tougher. But um, overall, it's turned out really good. You can see there's the ratcheting system. We'll get to that here in just a minute. Uh, if you haven't purchased one of these, you can see these inch markers here, these graduations. So the belt comes actually longer than what you would typically need. And so on this end here, you would trim it off. They recommend two to four inches bigger than your pants size. Um, but I, I kind of started a little bit longer than that and I kind of worked my way down to what I felt was good, uh, was, uh, good for me. Um, the cool thing about these is, if you haven't seen these before, is the ratcheting system. See how nice, easy that is, and it is not coming apart. This button right here is all you gotta do to press, and you can adjust it that way. But, uh, I mean, if you're out on the job site or something like that, it's nice and easy to just click. But then also, if you're still carrying um, in the appendix position, or I guess any other position, I carry an appendix with a tier one concealment, concealment holster. Um, when you sit down, it's not that hard to just loosen it up a click or two, and then kind of uh, relieves the tension from the uh, holster in your gut. And then when you stand up, it's absolutely nothing to just grab it and go, that's all it, all it takes is you just push and it's in. Um, so suck in the gut just a little bit and click. You can tighten it back and uh, get it back the way you had it. Um, get it back to the right tension. You get in the truck when you're sitting down and all you do is just click. There, right nice open. And then you sit back, you go, you go to get out and just click it right back. Um, you know, throughout the day, sometimes on those uh, old leather belts or uh, whatever you're used to wearing, sometimes you just need a little bit of adjustment. So you just click, and that's it's done. I was thinking this heavy-duty belt would be a lot better about having this. Uh, it's not showing up too well in the video, but you can see this little divot here. Um, kind of see it better that way like that. Uh, this, obviously, is where my back belt loop rides. Uh, leather belts have a tendency to do that, especially when it's real tight. You got a lot hanging on it. But um, I thought this would have done better about this, but uh, I'm not really too upset about it because it's really not that bad. And uh, <clears throat> like I said, overall, I'm I'm really happy with it. It's got some chafing on the uh, part on the inside here, and then around the ratchet itself, it's just kind of some loose pieces it hasn't really affected the function function of it nor the durability of it but uh it just kind of i thought it would have been a little bit stronger than that but oh well um so on a normal day-to-day -day basis what i have hanging on this thing is my maxpedition triad admin pouch and i've got a uh another edc video up that explains what is in this and what i have so my surge is here there's some uh accessories for it and some different things in here and then of course my wallet this is going to sit on this side of my belt um, throughout the day that's going to hang there my Maxpedition 5 inch phone case with a Samsung S21 uh, 5G is going to ride here uh, belt loop is generally right here on the uh, 3 o'clock position so just behind that is where my phone case will ride <laughs> And then right up against that is my Maxpedition Keeper. So a little bit of weight there, not too awful bad. I have this uh, drop leg 
Molly platform that goes on the belt with a Gerber strong arm and Leatherman hybrids. That's going to ride neck to it here in this position. You can kick that over just a little bit so you can see that. And then this Maxpedition tactical can case, which does not have dip or anything in it. It's got weed eater string. There's two weed refills in there uh, for my weed eater. Just so I'm not constantly trekking back to the truck, I have to get more string when I need it. And that rides right there. So that's what hangs on my belt. Of course, it's not counting everything that's in my pockets and such, but that's kind of my general setup. Now, obviously when I'm not at work, things are a little bit differently. I may have just a leather sheath over here for my Leatherman. Um, generally out and about, I'm going to have my either tier one concealment holster here or another holster that I carry my uh, Smith & Wesson Shield 9mm in. My tier one concealment holds my SIG P320. Um, and of course my phone case is gonna be on there. The rest of this is going, it, uh, my keys may be just kind of depending on the time and uh, what's going on there. So I know it's a really quick brief over you but i don't really have that much more to talk about would i recommend this belt to anybody uh absolutely 100 percent would i buy it again um will i buy it again when this belt wears out absolutely 100 percent um I, i've thought about trying some other belts like the core essentials um the groove life belt kind of looked interesting to me but i, I don't know this next belt has held up really well i've been really happy with it um, I got a VersaCarry leather belt that was a uh, concealed carry belt that is a really good belt that held up very well as well. But this, with that ratcheting system, it just, it really can't be beat. That's kind of revolutionary as far as EDC goes. If you're active like I am as a landscaper, you're up and down. I'll be on a mower at one point or I'll be uh, cruising through a yard on a weed eater around the concrete with an edger or trying to get everything blown off or I'm on a landscape job I'm trying to get every I'm trying to get stuff done so it's kind of uh, allows me that infinite adjustment um, with your normal belts you're gonna have a hole that's punched about every inch all the way along and that's kind of your adjustment you're either too loose or too tight a lot of the time so you get out an awl or a screwdriver or something like that and try to poke another hole and you got all these offset weird holes and everything through there this is just i mean it's got that infinite adjustment you can get it just right and you can adjust it throughout the day as far as the comfort goes that you need and uh, the position that you need to be comfortable throughout the day so that is my review for the next belt EDC belt. Um, 100% recommend. Two thumbs up. Um, appreciate everybody watching. Appreciate everybody uh, giving me the feedback that you have. Please continue to like, subscribe, hit that uh, subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Share this out to everyone that you can. Um, any social media platforms, whatever, we greatly appreciate it. This is Mad Dog EDC and uh, bringing you unchained gear reviews for your everyday use. Y'all have a good night.